Do you remember the moment when you felt, Jürgen, that, that you wanted to be a manager and how young were you when you started 20. that preparation? <laughs> 20. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Um, I was never happy with my, with my football, to be honest. Um, and, and, uh, I was, for me, it was, I knew I wanted to study sports. So I um, played third division football, trained with 20 already, uh, a youth team at Frankfurt um, and enjoyed it. So and I knew that's what I want to do. And I was always waiting for the moment when somebody comes to me and tells me, mm. Now we all saw you cannot play football, but maybe you want to. <laughs> but maybe you want to want to train the team. To be honest, um, for me, um, it was about trying it. Um, you know, we had numerous conversations in this office, and um, I asked Jürgen a lot of questions and what it was like, and he spoke about his experiences. And I think for me, it was all about the next two years to go and sample it and try it, see what it's like. But he gave me he gave me the pros, he gave me the cons, and and gave me invaluable. Uh, advice moving forward and you know I'm enjoying the role and I'm making loads of mistakes but they're off camera which is what he suggested was the best move to do and um, now that I've experienced that it was certainly the right move from the beginning um, and I'm just trying to grow and learn and, and get used to a completely different role and a completely different job than being a player um, and that's been the, mo the most eye-opening thing for me, how different it is from being a player. Um, now I've got more respect for managers, more <laughs> respect for coaches. Because Finally. I've, I've had, <laughs> I've had, I used to think I was the best coach and the best manager in the world when I was a player. Yeah. What are you doing that session for? Why do you do this? Why is he doing that? Now I apologise for all that and I realise how, how much of a difficult job it is for any coach and any manager because it's a completely different ball game. It's all about really try and error, trial and error, that's all about because you don't, nobody knows how it works. If you ask Pep Guardiola today, he looks like, he knows absolutely everything, even he didn't start perfect. And yeah, so with, a, with his, when he, when he started Barcelona, I think he started Barcelona B, and was not perfect from the first day, so he obviously always thought maybe I'm, it's not the right job for me. So you all have to do that and that's why it's so difficult to start on the level on the public level where I'm now, because people are talking constantly about you and you need to, to get resistant against something like that. You cannot always be in doubt about what am I doing and what, what, you cannot do what the people want. You need to do what you, are, what you think is right and if you have a strong team around you, it helps massively because you have questions. Uh, can you imagine I, as, a, as a Premier League manager, I go out there, by the way, one question. Um, what would you do in this situation? So it's not possible. Everybody would say, no, you need to know. But we are human beings and so we have still questions and how can I deal with this player, with this problem? And it's good to have a strong team around what I have. And um, not in the beginning, I started alone, but then I, I, I thankfully I got it. And so that's, that's the only help you can get. And to learn all these things is, is a wonderful thing. And losing feels on each level the same way, but having not the pressure from outside helps them to make the right decision again in the next game. And so I'm really happy that you enjoy it because it's, it's not, it doesn't happen too often. The, the, the player of your, of your size starts then on this level. That's why I always say it's a job you have to learn. And if you're ready to learn it, then it's not, you don't have to be a genius to come through. You need to be busy, you need to be interested. And then it's possible. Eh? And, um, and then it's a big help that you have been a world-class player. Um, because then you know all about the game, yeah? so you, your own ideas. But if that's the only thing you are were a world-class player but not ready to learn the next step, then it doesn't help. And a few of them struggled, obviously, in Germany a that's, lot. That's what I've learned in, in the six months. You don't realise what comes with it. Everything else, there's so much information to learn and, and take <laughs> in. And, um, have, you found, have you found anything particular a struggle, Stephen, that, that learning process? You'd have to adjust to. I think everything that's new, it's not a struggle, but it's different. And you sort of go out your comfort zone. So for the first time, you have 25 players around you. Then you have to put what's on the paper and go and deliver it on the field. Then you get your first player knocking at the door, why aren't I playing? Then, you, you know, everything's new. So I wouldn't say some things are a struggle because you're not used to it or you've got no experience what, what, what the boss is saying. Um, but with time, um, and experiences in certain situations. If you're faced with the same thing again, you think to yourself, well, what did they do right? What did they do wrong? And then it's experiences that help you with decisions moving forward. But I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning, you're like a rabbit in the headlights. You're like, Whoa, what am I gonna do? And it's different. When you're a player, you just turn up and you think, I know I can go and perform 
on the training pitch or I can go and perform uh, on Anfield or Goodison or whatever. But when you're a manager, there's so much more that you have to think about. Are you all right with the prospect of maybe p picking up a phone and, and speaking to Jürgen if there's something that you're not quite sure about? Are you still trying well, to overcome I, I, I that? Have, as well, I have. I yeah. have. That's already happened. There's been numerous times I've picked the phone up on a text or I've been here and asked a question. And um, I think he's already said it in the media that the door's open and anything he can help me with. And for me, that's gold dust because he's obviously a lot more, what, 20 more years experience than me, what I'm trying to do. So. Any little bits and bobs I can get from, from Jürgen and his staff um, or anything I see that I see him doing, I obviously need to take it in and, and add it to what... But what it's I've much better done. to learn it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that's how it is. So you, you, For example, one, one big difference for me was the video analyze. So I, I made it a beginning completely alone so because we had nobody to do it. And watching a game from, from the pitch and I played it, Two days before I became a manager, I had my last game. So it was really that I saw it and I was right fullback. So I had to quite a, this view on the pitch and I saw all of them from the back. And then you have the first game as a manager and you sit there and you see them all running like this and you're on the same level and you think, wow, that's really a bad view. So I went and then after the game, first um, press conference, stuff like that. What do you think about this situation, this situation? I really had, I, I struggled with the answer, because, but I gave some answers. And what I first learned, they obviously don't listen because otherwise they would have recognized I have no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I, I was running home actually, sitting in front of the television and watching the game back. And again and again, I watched my first game as a manager four times in the night after the game. Just I wanted to be prepared for the next morning in the session when the actually have to tell the players not my opinion but the truth about the game mm -hmm. because opinion is what you have after a game as a player you think why did you play that ball why did you pass that ball players constantly talking about offensive situations until they concede the goal they don't talk about defensive situation and still until the ball is in with me i was a player two days before so i was their fr um, i was their friend i'm still their friend um, and they came to me and asked me questions and I needed to have answers. And in the beginning, I always sent them out and said, give me five minutes. <laughs> I need to think about it. I don't have an answer. But we could do it because I was not in public as well. It was second, it was championship in Germany, but no public involved in this moment. Mm. So that's good. Learn it by yourself because you cannot do the way somebody else is doing. You can pick up things. You can say this part of football, your club football is, I like. This part of football is there, the kind of how United get results, very good. Stuff like that, being now more serious in a game, now fluent in a game, that's all okay. But it's, you will see it and then you have to think about how can you achieve it? How can I get it in, uh, for my boys and not going out and out. What do we do in training that it looks like that? Because that is different. We all have our different ways. And so it's a fantastic time. Mm -hmm. What you have in the moment, yeah. hopefully you feel no, it like that. No, it is. When you can really do what I miss very often, just train. Mm. Because the job now is so many things around that sometimes there's no time for training. You think, yeah. wow, how did so that happen? Games, <laughs> how did that happen? The other thing as well is it's, it's about personnel. You know, like I might say to my kids, we have to play the Jürgen Klopp way, but I haven't got Jürgen Klopp's players. I've got different players with different styles. So you'd have to find out about the individual. Yeah, their strengths and the weaknesses and then play a way that suits them people. You know, I don't think it's fair to ask some of my kids to run like Mane or <laughs> do what Firmino does because they're already ready to be top players. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's I a fascinating job because you learn so much every day about players.